Oh yeah, I should probably totally put a door in. Um, up here. He can I can I go? I mean, I've got no objections to the staff walking all the way around. They're not gonna like it. But, uh, they're gonna like it a little bit more if I put a couple of paving stones down in here. So probably should do that. See, it's just occurred to me that even though four by four is what I need, once I put a wall in, uh, I'm gonna have nowhere for them to actually walk. So unless I make an actual entrance to it outside all the time. Uh, I just need to go across one more tile so I can make a walkway for the staff. Um, I could put a door in the the warden's office. He's probably going to get fed up of all people walking through his office, but meh. He'll get used to it after a while. Why haven't I got a wall here? There we go. That's better. Uh, and we can stick a door in. a little bit late now. <coughs> Make use of that extra cell, but at least I'll have it for the next time round. So I have eight dudes arriving. Oh, here's our naughty prison bus. Um, let's hire another couple of guards. Bring it up to a nice five. There are no prisoners assigned to eat this canteen. Yes, because they haven't arrived yet. Um... So, this is our security guard going to open the front gate. Alright, okay, so we did go up to 11. That's fine. So, security guard has opened the gate. He'll then close the gate. Here are our naughty... F Whoa, the jail bus literally did just drive over some of our inmates, but we'll ignore that for now. Slowly coming in. Let's see if the metal detector goes off on any of them. So that they're due to be searched by the security guards just to make sure that they're not bringing in any contraband. All our prisoners metal free. Looks like it. Even though they've got handcuffs on. Again, we'll assume they're plastic cuffs. Um, hey. hey! Everyone's still clear? Yep, everyone is still clear. We've got one more dude out here. I'll forgive them and open the door so they can get out. Oh, there we go. We found some contraband. We have one guy with needles, drugs. So they are stripped off of their clothes from the outside and they're given prison uniforms. All part of the search process. Let's put in the staff room, shall we? He's already been put straight into a cell. He hasn't even been put into a holding cell. Look at that. That's efficiency for you. So is this guy. So our cooks have started cooking. Brilliant. Lots of bacon on the go. Oh, 
I love how my two cooks are using three cookers. That's pretty good. Cooking efficiency for you right there. So we have got the basics of a prison set up now. So let's sort this out, shall we? So we will adjust the planning in here a little bit. So walls are going to be along here. Uh, the second rooms are going to be here and here. Walls go up to here and here and to here and to here and then this area is going to be our staff room. Give me a nice big staff room down here. Um, I don't think staff need anything else for now. So that's one, two, three, four more offices for me, and a big old staff room. So let's put the staff room down here. We'll demolish this one wall. We'll get rid of the planning in here, so we can start seeing again. Uh, let's put some walls in. found some metal in the clothes. How weird. What's inside? Found a contraband of a screwdriver. Yeah, let's get a staff door there. Staff door, staff door, staff door, staff door. And a staff room, staff door. We need some wide sofas. Let's get some nice wide sofas. In between the wide circles, we will put some drink machines. We will put some nice large screen TVs in here. Put one here and one here. We are just about out of money though, so we have to watch ourselves. I think that is the all that I require in there. So once I start getting a little bit more money in, I can actually start building up these other offices. Open the jail door for him. the issue. One prisoner is unable to be assigned to a cell. Well, I've assigned him to the holding cell for now. But what's up with him? Why can't he be moved to a cell? So this is just the rap sheet screen, which you can get by clicking on any inmate. So for example... Um, I don't know. Let's have a look who we got here. Mitchell. Alan Copper Mitchell. Biography. Alan was a decorated police detective before being sentenced to life for murder. He was responsible for the apprehension of a gang of child pornographers. Unfortunately, the DA mishandled the evidence, forcing Alan to take justice into his own hand. Sentenced to 22 years for aggra aggravated burglary. Convictions. Aggravated burglary, burglary for 22 years and he pled guilty. Um, once you have unlocked a couple of other things, the character screen gets filled out. Um, like when psychologists get to see them. Um, they get to, You get to learn personas. Intelligence is another one. You get to learn 
for example, like Mitchell there is said he was actually a police officer, which makes him a potential target for the other inmates. Um, he's at fairly low risk at the moment because there's not many in the way of other people in here. Sentence for five years of possession, family of girlfriend of 23, a daughter of three, a son of four, and a mother of 48. Yikes. He got busy. Sentence to five years, pled not guilty. Estimated chance of reoffending, 8%. Okay, so we're up to 10,000 again. Lovely. Let's get some more offices built, shall we? Offices, offices, offices. Where are we? Offices. So we'll have an office here. We'll have an office here. Office here. And an office here. Why, why does the staff room tell me there's no prisoners assigned to eat at my canteen? Okay. Um, objects. So once again, we need office desks. One, two, three, four. Filing cabinets. One, two, three, four. And chairs. One, two, three, four. We can get rid of the planning from in here completely now. Wash. We can now look at hiring additional staff if we want to. So let's go to the bureaucracy. We will approve a security guard, uh, a psychologist. A maintenance dude, and hmm, I'm gonna leave it at that for now. I've got room for one more person, which I might go into health. In fact, I am gonna do health. So, with all of those then now being researched, security's up first. At least. I've now got the room for them to expand into. This is the nice yard that they're wandering around in. I've got the basics run. Brilliant. So, all the other rooms now are enhancers, shall we say. So this is the basics for what you need to run a prison. Um, I can add a common room, which obviously keeps my inmates happy. I can add visitation, which adds, makes my inmates happy. I can do parole, so I can give the, the prisoners a chance to, you know, overturning their sentences. Everything else is now an enhancer. This is the bare bones of what you need. So uh, the bare bones, I'm also making a thousand one hundred dollars already as daily cash flow. So really, I could just sit here and just watch the money come in nice and slowly, but. At the end of the day, your ultimate goal is to try and stop prisoners from reoffending uh, and to keep them as happy as possible so they don't riot inside your prison. So adding things like um, phone booths out in the yard so if they want to call home and see how their loved ones are doing, then brilliant. Um, you can then tap the phones for intelligence as well so you can make sure that you know they're not trying to organise things while they're here the way in prison. Uh, there's lots of different options for different things you can do. There are no prisoners assigned to eat at this canteen. I hope, should hope not. I just don't know what these guys are doing. I don't know why they're stuck. That's a little bit weird. What are they trying to do? Staff room. They've gone back down to this wall again for some random reason. I don't know why they're all coming down and getting stuff in this room. 
makes no sense. Um, let's cancel this in here. And let's reapply it in here. I just don't understand why they're getting stuck. Maybe if I put another wall in here, they'll stop getting stuck. Is that all my workmen stuck down there as well? No, there's a couple up here. That's fine. There you go, they're building a wall. Okay, now they're getting stuck on that wall. Oh, there we go. Yep. Okay, we're now moving out. Okay, that's brilliant. Oh, we found a power drill. In with the food. So this is the other handy thing. You can see pris uh, feed all prisoners. So at the moment we have all green on food and all red on prisoners. Which means that we are going to match the amount of meals that we have for prisoners. Which